The Burkina Faso Junta claims to have thwarted a coup attempt. A coup attempt was foiled in Burkina Faso on Tuesday, according to the military leader of the nation. It claimed that officers and others had plotted to create turmoil and destabilize the nation. Nearly a year has passed since Captain Ibrahim Traoré, the interim president, seized control. It was the nation's second coup of 2022, and it occurred as the Islamist insurgency grew. Without providing any further information, the officials announced in a statement that was read aloud on television on Wednesday night that they had made some arrests and were aggressively looking for further individuals. The statement said, a proven coup attempt was foiled on September 26, 2023, by Burkina Faso's intelligence and security services. At present, officers and other alleged participants in this destabilization attempt have been arrested and others are being actively sought. It said the alleged perpetrators had the sinister intention of attacking the institutions of the Republic and plunging the country into chaos. It has since been reported by the military prosecutor that four officers have been detained. The military government said it would seek to shed all possible light on this plot and that it regretted that officers whose oath is to defend their homeland are strayed into an undertaking of this nature. The country's military prosecutor later said that four people had been arrested and two were on the run. An investigation has been opened based on credible allegations about a plot against state security implicating officers, the prosecutor said. Captain Trahore had earlier made a statement claiming he was determined to safely lead the transition to democracy, despite adversity and the various maneuvers to stop our inexorable march towards assumed sovereignty. The pro fans were also complimented for their vigilance. Elections, according to the Junta, will be held by July of the following year. Hundreds of people marched in favor of the Trinta in the streets of the nation's capital, Ouagadougou, on Tuesday as a result of rumors of an impending mutiny. The authorities shut down the French-language news publication Jew in Afrique on the same day, accusing it of running stories that denigrated the military forces. Plans to transfer authority to civilians by next year have been hampered by the extensive terrorist insurgency that swept from neighboring Mali in 2015. This is not the first coup attempt. Earlier this month, the nation's military prosecutor announced that three soldiers had been detained and accused of attempting to overthrow the Junta. Investigators were tipped off that soldiers and former soldiers working in intelligence were snooping about the residences and other hangouts of Trahare and other important Junta members. It stated that their intention was to destabilize the transition, a word used to characterize the military's interim administration before the scheduled elections. Military prosecutors in December 2022 also claimed there had been an attempt to destabilize state institutions shortly after Trahare's takeover. They claimed that Emmanuel Zaungrana, a lieutenant colonel, and civilians were responsible for it. More than 17,000 civilians and troops have died in jihadist attacks in Burkina Faso. According to a count by an NGO monitor called the Armed Conflict Location and Event Data Project, ECLID, over 2 million people have also been uprooted, making it one of the worst internal displacement crises in Africa. Anger within the Burkina Bay Armed Forces led to a coup in January 2022, toppling elected President Rock Mark Christian Cabaret. On September 30, Cabaret's nemesis, Colonel Paul Henry Sandogo Damiba, was himself overthrown. Last week, the government claimed nearly 192,000 internally displaced people had returned to their homes after various regions were retaken by government forces. Jihadist attacks continue unabated despite government claims to have wrested back territory. Captain Trahore has taken steps to sever ties to France the previous colonial power since assuming control. He launched massive recruitment campaigns to bolster the security forces and ordered French forces stationed there to help quell the Islamist insurgency. Three neighboring nations, Burkina Faso, Niger and Mali, all of which are under attack from jihadist forces and where the military has taken control in the past year. 
established a defense pact earlier this month to support one another in the event of an armed uprising or foreign assault. What are your thoughts on this? Let us know in the comment section below. Subscribe to stay updated.